Uh, greetings, man fans. All right, so this is day four of our log chapter. Okay, so we just have a different type of problem here. Uh, actually, a couple different types of problems. And um, the main focus, again, is to be able to convert between log and exponential. All right, so if you guys remember, we had log base A of C is equal to B. And then to put that in exponential, it's A to the B equals C. Okay, this is so important. Super important because you have to know how to convert between the top one, which is log, to the bottom one, which is exponential. So it's A to the B equals C and log base A of C equals B. Have to know that. Okay, all right, so let's just kind of start out with a couple of friendly problems here. If I said um, log base 4 of 2x uh, equals 2. And again, all these problems are solve for x. They're all solve for x. So the deal is you got to write it as an exponential. So it's going to be 4 to the second power equals 2x. It's a really easy problem. Once you, once you write it in as an exponential, which really is your goal here, math fans, is you got to... Um, it will be right as an exponential and then you have to solve it. So really this is uh, 4 squared of 16. So I'm going to just rewrite it this way. 2x equals 16. And then divide by 2. This is all algebra now. x is equal to 8. And that's the answer to this problem. Okay. So let's just do another one here. Log base 2 of 2x plus 4 is equal to 4. So again, exponential. 2 to the 4th power is equal to 2x plus 4. So again, put in your calculator, 2 to the 4th power is 16, so it's 2x plus 4 equals 16. And then subtract 4 from both sides, so 2x equals 12, divide by 2, x equals 6. Okay, really pretty easy problems. Okay, here's another one here. Log base 3 of x minus 1 squared equals 2. So again we're going to do 3 to the second power equals x minus 1 squared. So I get x minus 1 squared equals 9. Now remember how to solve this. You're going to take the square root of both sides, right? And what do you get? x minus 1 equals, please do not forget that, it's plus or minus 3. And so you have two answers. You have x minus 1 equals 3 and x minus 1 equals negative 3. So we add 1 to both sides, x equals 4. And add 1 to both sides here, and x equals negative 2. So there's two answers for this one, 4 and negative 2. Okay, it's not bad. Let's do one more, and then we're going to switch to a different type of problem here. Okay, so this is going to be um, log base 5 of 3x plus 1 equals 2. Okay, so again it's 5 to the second power equals 3x plus 1. Pretty easy guys. So 3x plus 1, 5 squared is 25. So we subtract 1, so 3x equals 24 and divide by 3, x is 8. That's it. Pretty easy, right? Okay, so I want you to notice one thing, math fans. Um, notice you have a log on one side, and on the other side, you have a, just a number. That's all the problems were that way. Okay, this next set of problems, um, you're going to have logs on both sides. So if you want to write that, this is these are logs on both sides. Okay, so watch. Here we go. Log base 5 of 2x plus 3 is equal to log base 5 of x plus 7. Okay, so it's really easy. Here's the deal, guys. If you have the same log on both sides, so it's the same, what you do is you set these equal to each other. So set equal and solve for x. It's so easy. Okay, but you got to have a log on both sides. Otherwise, you got to write it in exponential form first. So literally, what you're going to do is you're going to say 2x plus 3 is equal to x plus 7. That's all you do. And solve for x. 
So subtract x and subtract 3. So you get x is equal to 4. What? That's it? Gah! Yeah. Okay, so let's try another one here. Log base 8 of x squared over 2 is equal to log base 8 of 8. Okay, again, that's the same. So I set these equal. So you get x squared over 2 equals 8. I'm going to multiply both sides by 2. So you get x squared equals 16. And remember, take the square root of both sides. You get x equals, don't forget, plus or minus 4. Whenever you take the square root, guys, of an x squared, you always get plus or minus. Always, 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 always. Okay? Uh, so that's pretty easy, right? That's only when logs are on both sides, so pretty easy. Um, the next two problems are kind of a review, and then we're going to get into just a couple of new problems here. Um, if I get, so this is a review, review really from yesterday. So if I said 3 to the x equals 1 ninth, okay, you should remember you got to take the log of both sides. That means that x goes in front, so you wind up with x log of 3 equals log of 1 ninth. Then you divide by log of 3. Okay? And if you do that, you get x equals negative 2. Super easy. We've done this already. Okay, one more review one. Um, 4 to the 2x minus 3 is equal to 64. Okay, what do you do to both sides? Remember when I move that exponent down, you take the log of both sides. Super easy. Okay, that moves that to the front. So you wind up getting 2x minus 3 times the log of 4 equals log of 64. So we divide both sides by log of 4. Okay, so 2x minus 3 equals log 64 minus log of 4 is actually equal to 3. Okay, and then we add 3 to both sides. Just solve for x. So 2x equals 6 and divide by 2, x is 3. Okay, pretty easy. Now, this is a little bit different than these kind of problems. Just a small amount different. Um, what we're going to do is um, I'm going to put, watch, here's the problem. 4 times 2 to the x plus 3 is equal to 20. Okay, so here's the deal, man, fans. You need to get this kind of by itself. You need to get the variable or the number with the x1 by itself. That 4 is like just multiplied on the side. So the first first thing I need to do is I need to get rid of that 4. Okay? And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to really just divide by 4. Okay? Because I need to get rid of that 4 in front of that parenthesis. So if I divide, I cancel that out, and I wind up getting... 2 to the x plus 3 is equal to 20 divided by 4 is 5. Okay? So this is where you're, you start out now, and then we just do what we did before. So we take the log of both sides, and then that goes to the front. So it's x plus 3 times the log of 2 equals log of 5. Okay? So we keep going here. Divide by log of 2. So we get x plus 3 equals log of 5 divided by log of 2. I'm actually around the two decimal places. And if you do that, you get 2.32. And then we subtract 3 from both sides. So we get x is equal to negative 0.68. That's it. Okay. Pretty easy. So let's do another one here. Uh, 6 parentheses, 3 to the 2x plus 7 is equal to 90. Okay? So first thing you do is you're going to divide by 6. So we get 3 to the 2x plus 7. 90 divided by 6 is 15. Okay? And then you take the log of both sides. That moves that in the front. 
So you wind up having 2x plus 7 times the log of 3 equals log of 15. Cool. Divide both sides by log of 3. So you end up getting, let me try it on this side here, 2x plus 7 is equal to 2.46. And then we're going to just do a little algebra. So subtract 7, so 2x equals negative 4.5. 535, and then we divide both sides by 2. So x comes out to be negative 2.27. That's it. Okay? So again, you had uh, log on one side, put it in exponential. You had log on both sides, just set them equal to each other. And then you start out with no logs. You got to take the log of both sides. But in this case here, again, don't forget, when you have something like this, right, you got to divide both sides by... Um, in this case, four, and both sides by six for this guy here. And then you then you continue on and take the log of both sides. Okay, that's it, my fans. You have an outstanding day. Adios.